Okay, eggs, beef, chicken, canola oil, bread, beans, milk. Hi. Are you really a scarecrow? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I'm looking for something different. I kind of got tired of just hanging around in the field all day. Yeah. I can't imagine working on a farm. Why not? I don't know. I guess I never really thought about it. That's crazy. Oh, come on. There's somebody I want you to meet. What are you doing? Wait for it. <laughs> Ta-da! Hey, Nigel. Emily, this is Greg Stamp. He's a seed grower. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Emily can't imagine working on a farm. It just seems kind of old-fashioned. Well, it's not much different than it used to be. You take good seed, good soil, and moisture, which we can provide with irrigation. What kind of things do you grow? Well, we grow crops such as this barley field, and we also grow wheat, durum, and flax and seed canola, but the crops that we grow on our farm are mainly for seed production, which we sell to other farmers to replant the following year. So if Nigel was looking for a job, what would some of his choices be on an Alberta crop farm? Well, he could be a machine operator, he could be a farmer, he could be an irrigation specialist, and he could be an agronomist. But we could always use a good scarecrow. Uh, I think I might want to try to work with animals. Come on. Oh, wait. Bye, Greg. Bye. Oh. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Emily, this is Rosie Templeton. She's a cattle rancher. Nice to meet you, Emily. Nice to meet you, too. Nigel's looking for a new job. Can you tell us a bit about working with animals here in Alberta? Well, Emily, my family and I run a cattle ranch, which we call a cow-calf operation. In the summertime, our cattle get to graze wide open pastures, which is where they are right now with their mothers. And did you know, Emily, that Alberta has the most cattle of any other Canadian province? We have 5.5 million head of cattle here, which is almost double the amount of people. Wow. So what about chickens? On Alberta's nearly 275 chicken farms, chickens are raised for either breeding, egg laying, or meat. The chickens that are raised for meat are raised in well-ventilated barns where there's plenty of light and room to move around. And they're able to eat or drink whenever they please. So, if Nigel was interested in working with animals, what could he do? Well, Nigel could be a cattle rancher, a sheep farmer, a dairy farmer, an inspector, a trucker, or even a veterinarian. Every farmer has a close relationship with their veterinarian to make sure that they can keep their herds and flocks as healthy as possible. Mm, I don't know. I think I might want to try something else. I don't like the way this bull is looking at me. Okay. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Emily. Bye, Nigel. Ooh. Hey, check this out. Nigel, I don't think you should go up there. Hi, I'm Keith. How can I help you? Me and my friend Nigel were just curious about farming technology. Okay. What could you tell us about it? Oh, I can tell you lots. Come with me. Well, this is a combine. What a combine does essentially is take grain from the field and separate the, the clean grain from the straw. The clean grain goes way up top there and the straw gets spread evenly in the field once the combine goes through, so nothing gets wasted. We use GPS uh, technology on the farm to help us drive big machines like this so nothing gets missed and lost. Similar to what we do on a dairy farm, for example, with our FID tags uh, to keep track of cows and how cows move. So technology is being used throughout every portion of the farm. Wow, thanks Keith. Oh, you're very welcome. I am Nigel 2.0. Yeah, I like the old version better. Really? What happens next? How does all of this get turned into food? Well, come on, I'll show you. Wow, what's this place? It's an egg farm, where you get eggs from chickens. All eggs are collected and sorted for shipping. Did you know brown eggs are laid by brown chickens and white eggs are laid by white chickens? Cool. At a modern dairy farm, these cows will go through the milker when they are ready to be milked. 
the robot milker knows just how much milk to take. Then the milk gets used for all kinds of dairy. Milk, cream, yogurt, ice cream, and cheese. What about crops? I know you can eat peas and beans and other vegetables. What happens with all the other crops? Well, barley, flax, and other grains are sold whole or milled into flour for baking or used for animal feed. Alberta is quite famous for our barley-fed beef. Canola is often pressed and turned into oil for cooking. We make sugar from our sugar beets. Some of our potatoes become potato chips. And all of this ends up at my grocery store? A lot of it will. But Alberta also ships its products across Canada and around the world. Wow, this is really cool. Where are we going next? I'll show you. Emily, this is Corrine Vandenberg. She's a scientist. Cool, but what does science have to do with farming? Well, Emily, science has a lot to do with farming and agriculture. In fact, science is the platform in which we can improve agriculture, improve our, our animals and, and crops, uh, look at new ideas and technologies like equipment and, and varieties and breeds, and as well as steward our land and our water. That's pretty cool. Yeah, check this out. What's really exciting about agricultures is how we can take existing crops, like these ones here, and use them in new ways. For example, as a biofuel or a replacement for plastics. Wow, so what are you working on today? We're doing a lot today. We're looking at new varieties of crops. We're looking at growth performance trials of, of our animals. We're also looking how we can use agriculture practices to reclaim our land. We're looking at innovation in this industry and we're meeting a lot of interesting people along the way. If you're interested, there are programs in place where you can learn more about agriculture. Thanks. I'll think about it. So, maybe something in the agriculture science field? Maybe, but I still have a few more questions. Wait for me! Excuse me, do you work here? I do, I'm Cindy. Can you tell me a bit about the products you have here from Alberta Farmers? Absolutely, we've got products all over the store from Alberta Farmers. In our dairy department, we've got products that include uh, milk and cheese and eggs. Also, if you move to the produce department, we have beets and beans and tomatoes and carrots. What about chicken and beef? Those too come from Alberta producers. Uh, we have uh, beef and chicken in our meat department. And a lot of the food that comes into our stores comes in fresh in the raw states. In our deli department, we'll take the fresh chicken and we'll cook it so that you can take it home and eat it for dinner. In our bakery department, you'll see that we use the grains and the canola oil and we'll make breads right in our store as well. Wow, I had no idea that so much food came from right here in Alberta. A lot of products also have animal byproducts. For example, cosmetics, cleaners, pharmaceuticals, even candy. Hmm, agriculture, who knew? I did. That's what I've been trying to show you. It isn't just scaring crows all day. There's so much I can do. Research, technology, veterinary science. I'm gonna have to check these out. What about you, Nigel? Did you find a new job? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go back to the farm. I think that's where I feel I'd really be outstanding in my field. Okay, well, good luck. You too, Emily. Bye.